Hey, what's up everybody? Scotty here. Fix this mic a little better. Sorry. Um, welcome back to another episode of Pills of Eternity. This time we are doing the Smith's Shipment. So, we are currently in Estern Wood. To get there, we need to take the South Road. Black Meadow. This little, uh, I think it's more of us. I think they call them Task in here. Let me check. Quest. Okay, it is a quest. Anyways, here's Black Meadow. For the most part, all of this is easy except for right here. We are just going to actually, I'm going to show you just one place to go get some quick loot. Uh, you got these forest trolls here, they're not too bad. Because there's a magic item. That's just a little too weak. Uh, you got this troll skin. Hive of troll skin is formed what appears to be several layers of thin vines, plants, and mulch formed, forming a thick, nearly impenetrable skin. Hang on a second. She is just a little too weak for what I'm liking. Body right here you want to loot or it might might be one down here yeah yes yeah, this one so you get uh Fulvano's boots plus one constitution though never as far as he would claim the valiant explorer Fulvano was known as his eccentric who as an eccentric who wished to see the world where possible he traveled by foot wishing to gain local appreciation for the sights, sound, smells of the land he passed through in practice. However, Fulvano often claimed that his exploration was proved only that he would proved only that the world outside of the Valian Republics was a foul smelly place that paled in comparison to his homeland. This pair of boots is said to have belonged to the Fulvano, and the initials burned into the leather would seem to bear that out. <coughs> Fulvano was particularly was very particular about his boots for they had to endure a great deal of use and they were constructed to be as hard as they as their wear. So his exploring days are over. We're gonna put this on the tank. Whoops. Because it gives plus one to constellation. If you notice his stats goes up pretty pretty decent amount for just one co uh, constitution constitution uh, everything else not really worth 
trying. I would do this, but that's uh, over here. That's somewhat difficult. But this part of the game, it, it, it's very doable, but it takes it takes some good timing and tactics, some strategy. Uh, and part it's part of something else later on. But we're not going to do it right now. We're going to do the quest that was mentioned before. <laughs> These guys are very easy to take down, except for the leader. Try to take out, take out the leader first. CC him. There we go. That's exactly what we want to do. Take him down. Just nuke him. Alright, CC him again. That didn't work. Got one more. There we go. Leader's dead. Get the last bandit out. You get a fair amount of loot here, too. Actually, for this little quest, you get a lot. You get a lot here. Oh, gold. Oh, my gosh. I didn't get this last time. A rare coin even in the Valiant Republics. The gold, the golden oval, double, is a large gold coin that is mostly used by extremely wealthy. Really surprised I got that. So that crate must be random because I got silver the last time. Uh, there's a shipment crate. This battered and heavy crate has been pried open at the corner, but it is, but its contents remain within. There is a planted hammer and anvil on the side of it, alongside the words Black Hammer Smither. And Tyler's note, I need you to deliver the hall of the Kern for the Kern to sell. He will not speak to you unless you know the words. He, but I'm not saying that. He's only found in gift after the dark. Just leveled up, main character. Do this. Get some ale. The common of dry wood, L is rich in fruity taste, finds enough enthusiasts to keep its production flowing. Uh, oil, this oil is a variety of generally used in cooking, though it will be used as a fuel in hard times, and we already know what the other stuff is. Alright then. Now we can return. Can I go through here? No, I can't. This is road specific. Baldur's Gate doesn't matter where you go on the map. As long as you can get to the edge of it, you can go that way. Alright, now we're going to go back to the Gilded Vale. Turn this quest in. Get a lot of experience. An item. Actually, a very good shield. Early on in the game. And some money, believe it or not. Like I said, this, this easy quest... You want to do as quickly as possible. Hail and well met. Hand over the crate. Well, you have it. This is excellent news. We can finally get back to work and show the real Black Hammer quality. None of these flimsy little swords. You get that much experience. 2,000 experience for doing this complete quest. I'll give you a taste. Might not have as much, might not have, might not have had much in the way of materials to work with, but it's still black armor craftsmanship. Go ahead and take, take that. A uh, larder door. Wooden shield, and I'll show it to you in a second. That's strange. I get 100 copper this time. Last time I got, on my main game, I got 200. Whatever. Bandits overtook the item. Poor fools. I always told them they 
to all these told them they ought to hire some guards instead of hauling the extra coin. I have to hire more. I have to hire on more hands. Don't suppose you want to settle in Gilded Vale and try some delivery work? You have my thanks for assistance, friend. Give me some time to work the forge, and you'll have your pick of the next run of weapons. Show you this weapon. Uh, this. There it is. It's a unique shield. Um, adds 16 deflection, 8 to accuracy, minus 8 to accuracy, but it grants bash. Bash is a secondary secondary attack, which does 8 to 12 crush versus deflection. The shield appears to have once literally been compromised the front of a larder. It is still has the full ring and metal cross hand, bands reinforcing its surface, giving it considerable left heft with a swung in a point opponent. Despite its humble origins, the nicks and gouges of this shield surface suggest that it has seen more than a few battles in its times and proved a sturdy defense, though it leaves the harrow, harrowing prospect that there may be a larder somewhere left undefended. So we're gonna put that on him. Pretty much the same stats. Uh, accuracy is 35. But, I mean, we, we do have now a secondary attack. Hey. Ooh, everybody loves up. And there is the secondary attack. All right. 